Trinidad and Tobago remains under a meteorological drought warning. We've had a couple of months of below normal rainfall and next uh, few months we'll likely see more of the same. And this does have an impact on the water resources, especially around the reservoirs. At Hollis Reservoir, Wasser is now reporting at just a 69% capacity and that's uh, well down from the 83% which was just over a month ago. And it looks as though the forecast, at least uh, for today in the next few days, is for similarly dry weather. Not much in terms of uh, showery activity as expected as you go through your day. So for Tobago, much of the concentration will be on the breeze coming through. You'll notice the palms swaying and those flags rippling as you go not only from Tobago but into Trinidad as well. So if you're along the east coast of Trinidad through Mayaro down towards Amantanilla, notice the palms will be swaying there and also the breeze may even be filtering across in the to parts of eastern Trinidad and then eventually into Port of Spain as well. So a breezy day for quite a few of us as we go through our Thursday. For central and southern areas as well, there'll be very little in terms of a cloudiness to produce those showers so therefore mostly sunny skies are expected, breezy as well, and maybe just a touch hazy as we get towards the end of the day. Temperature-wise, we're looking at highs of 31 degrees Celsius in Trinidad, getting closer to 32 in the capital, Port of Spain and San Fernando, and also 30 expected for most parts of Tobago. Now, by the time we get to Saturday, there's a possibility there's a bit of Saharan dust out there which will begin to make inroads also being pushed in under those windy conditions. So notice the strong winds through the weekend pushing in that Saharan dust. So it will likely be quite hazy as you go through Saturday and Sunday for both Tobago and Trinidad. Offshore, those strong gusty winds continue, 20 knots getting up to 25 knots in places. Still quite choppy out in the Atlantic at 2.5 meters, but 2 meters expected through the Caribbean with those short northeasterly swells continuing as you go through Thursday and more of the same is expected on Friday. So that's your weather and that's it from me.